Well, welcome to the step-by-step -step tutorial for the ebook formatting kit. I'm Suzanne Parrott. In this video, I'm going to show you how to split your chapter pages without splitting your pages. Now, what do I mean by that? There are actually three different ways you can do this to create your chapter breaks. And it's like I say here, did you know that you don't have to split out all your chapters? There's a very simple process and it uses the page break in CSS and it's called page break before always. Now you can see why it's important that you would set your heading one tag because that's what it's going to be applying to. And we'll look at your page first. I can set in the CSS and if you go to the style sheet here and you'll have to scroll down a few ways. It's probably about the second to the last it usually is. You can see that I have the style set for my H1, H2, H3 and all my heading tags here. What we're going to do, if you go back to the code that's in the book, you can actually highlight what's there and you can actually copy it. Copy. And it's just H1 bracket page dash break dash before colon always semicolon and a closing bracket. So I have it copied now, and then I'm just going to go after the last bracket under my other H1 or heading tags, hit the cursor a couple times and go Command V as in Victor, and you can see that it applies here. Now it doesn't, won't do anything until I save it. So we're still working in the My Book EPUB, but you remember on the content page that every heading was an H1 heading. So now that when I save this file, I'm going to show you what it looks like in like a Kindle preview. So I open up the Kindle previewer and then I just find my book EPUB and I just drag it over the top. Oop, it won't compile it because I need to do something first. So we'll just open it actually in and I'll tell you why that it didn't open in a minute. I'm just going to open it in my reader app. And what it's going to do is it's just going to show me that the pages are broken up. So here's my book here. It says my book there. And you can see that each of my chapters, and I'm going to squish this down a little bit, is on its own chap own page, but I didn't split the pages. Now that's pretty cool, isn't it? So it actually saves you a lot of time, especially if you've got a lot of poetry and, and stuff to do. Now the reason this did not convert into the Kindle Reviewer by pulling over the EPUB, it's not because it's an EPUB, it's because I have not set my metadata, and that's the title and my author name. Once you do that, then it'll work. But you can see that this is a really easy way to split your chapters. Now there are other ways to do it. If you really need to split the chapter, what you do is you go to Code View and you look between two chapters. We're going to do it between Chapter 2 and Chapter 3. Okay? You go to the last closing tag, which is usually a paragraph or a div tag, D-I-V, and the H1 tag. You put your cursor there, and it's better to do it in code view because if you're doing it while you're looking at it in book view, it doesn't always work. And there's this little CB up here, this chapter break. If you click it, you notice that we get another page called section 0001, and it's chapter 3. Then you would just right click and rename it to whatever you want. But let's say you split it and made a mistake and went, oh, I don't want to do that. Here's a really cool thing. You hold down your shift button, select content, and select that section that you just split. You Then you right click and you go merge. And it will merge them back together. So if you make a mistake, you can always merge them together. If you've got 65 chapters and want to merge them all together, just highlight them all. Click, right click and go merge and you've got them all back together again. So now that we have our heading one tags, every time I do something, what do I say? I always click the generate the TOC from headings. And you can see now that we have all our chapters in there. And then I save my file. So that's how you can split. There's another way to do it too. I have it in the tutorial and I'll make a separate video for that one. It's a little trickier, but it works really well. Anyway, now you're ready to go to the next video.